everybody's top water johnny and in this bass fishing video we'll be fishing with another classic here the chase bait cicada bug right here by chase bait this lure right here catches a lot of fish so i thought i'd put it back in action and see what we can do during the springtime let's go Folks. Top water Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. Look at that right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. There we go. Woo! At that one. Hooked. Alright, everybody, Top Water Johnny here. We are out at the lake and we're gonna put this chase bait cicada bug to action. So we're going to go ahead and get started with it. I, I fished with it a lot in the fall of last year, but I didn't really get a chance because of all that went on to fish with it in the springtime. So we're bringing it out again here in the spring to see what we can do. Be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and let's go ahead and see what we can do with the chase bait cicada bug. All right. There we go. There we go. On that cicada, as soon as it hit. All right, everybody. There we go. On that, on that chase bait cicada bug. Chase bait cicada right there. Got him. All right. Another big one, but a better one. We'll keep on going, okay. There we go. There we go, and that cicada. There we go, everybody. Got him. There we go. Oop. Gotcha. Jumped off on us, folks, but we got him. <laughs> oh. There he is right there. On that cicada right there. All right. Okay, everybody. We got another one here over in that spot. But no complaints. It's, he's healthy and chunky. So not the biggest, but we're all right with that. That uh, Chase Bay cicada. Okay. There we go. There we go. Got him that time. Got you that time. <laughs> All right. And he flops off. <clears throat> and he flops off. And he flops off. All right, everybody. Not a big one, but he still hit that cicada the way I was popping it along. So no complaints on this one right here. All right. Hitting it. I cannot believe they're not getting that hook. Ah, oh, man. Missed that one right there. They're not getting the hook. They were in that grass. So, just going to try to hold a little bit longer, let them try to take it, and then set it on them. So, we'll see what happens. All right.
There we go. In the grass. Slow hit. Woo! That's a nice one. Got you. Woo! Got you, buddy. Slow hit in the grass. Oh, my goodness. Look at that one, everybody. On that cicada. On that cicada bug right there. Nice slow hit. But that's a nice big bass right there. All right. All right, everybody. There he is again. All right, everybody. Here's another. Here's a nice one right here. Well over a pound and a half here. Almost two pounds. Nice big healthy bass right here on that cicada bug. So no complaints on this one right here. All right. Okay, here we go. I took it a little slower and got this nice one in them grass. All right there. Man. I missed that one right there, but we're going to keep on trying here because they're coming up and smacking it. But we're going to try that one more time here, try that spot, but we're going to keep on working it. All right. There we go. There we go. Last cast almost. There we go. On that cicada, everybody. Oh, on that cicada. All right. That's what we were looking for. <clears throat> he took that one all the way down. All the way down. All right. You got that one nice and deep in their mouth with the grass. All right. All right. There he is right there. Looking good. Okay. All right, everybody. We got one here. Got another one. We missed a few, but we got this one. So no complaints. All right. Okay. There we go. Nice one right there on that chase bait cicada. Okay. Hey everybody, Todd Water Johnny here, and I'm out at the lake here with Steve Chapman from Get, from Get Your Finally. Fish On. And we are out here to do some damage. He done put me on to a spot, and we're going to do some damage out here and see if we can catch some topwater bass. So let's go ahead and go get it. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. All right, Steve. There we go. Uh. All right. We got one on that chase bait cicada. All right. Finally got one here. He struck it. We got him nice and deep. All right. All right. There he is. On that chase bait cicada. All right, everybody. Well, we got one here on this chase bait cicada. Finally got one. He struck it good, so whew, we don't have any complaints here. It was a little bit of a grind. Different kind of water out here, but we made it happen. All right. All right, everybody. There we go. Nice one to start it off. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. On the cicada. All right. There we go. Woo. There it is, everybody. We got that one on that cicada. All right. All right it's a little dirty, but we got this one right here. So this is our second one out here. So. No complaints. All right. All right. There he is. A little dirty. 
But we got him. All right. Hey everybody, Top Warrior Johnny here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. In this video, I was bringing back the Chase Bait Ripple Cicada. I want to share with everybody, if you want to see the previous video I did on this one, when I fished it in the fall, during the fall transition, check in my description box below. There'll be a link there where you can watch another video of me fishing with the Cicada and then also doing a review of the cicada as well in this video here it was all about springtime and that's what it is down here in florida springtime and those bugs and mosquitoes and dragonflies are all out flying around and so i thought what better lure to put to work than the chase bait ripple cicada this right here once again is a great lure for this time period i want to give you a few more specs on it real quick first the price is $12.49 for one cicada. You can get it from chasebaits.com or you can get it from Tackle Warehouse or any other places that sell chase bait products. The actual ounce of it here is one fifth ounce. The length is one and three quarters inches. And these are size 10 treble hooks that are on there as well. And it normally comes with a feathered tail. Now, some of the things I want you guys to think about when you're fishing cicadas, this is an insect lure, which means when the bass see an insect, they have a certain instinct for hitting insects. And sometimes they'll come up, they'll swipe at them, sometimes they'll slurp them down, sometimes they'll just come up and try to punch them to make them unconscious and come back around and eat them again. So you have to be aware when you're fishing insects, that these bass can act a little different because they've hunted for insects before. Your key to your success with a cicada or any insect lure is to let them do the hit and wait just a few seconds to see how they move. In other words, when they hit, you just need to wait and see how they react after they hit your lure. And it's so, it's so exciting when they hit the top water to yank up and reel them right in. But what you have to do with an insect lure is you have to throw it out there. You have to let it sit. When they hit it, you have to wait. And when you feel the weight of the fish pulling down, that's when you set the hook. So you're going to have to endure the explosion that happens and then just wait a few more minutes, seconds, and then set the hook and you'll improve your hookup ratio. That's what I've discovered fishing this lure because in the video you saw I missed some fish and it's because I, I got excited just like anyone else. So I wanted to tell you guys that as well. I also, I just want to thank each and every one of you guys as subscribers to this channel. I really do appreciate all that you do. It's always a pleasure to kind of release these videos and get them out in front of people and share my little top water. So I just want to thank you guys for that as well. Please like, subscribe to the channel, hit all the bell notifications so you're notified every time I drop a video, but I just want to thank each and every one of you guys. So once again, always remember that phrase, keep your line tight because when they hit those top water lures, it's going to be a big bite. I'll see you in the next video.